Okay, in this video, what I'd like to do is show you how, how to add an assessment item. Now, um, remember, I really want you to try and keep it uniform so that when I come in to add formulas, I can see what's going on. And obviously, when you want to change formulas in the future, you can see what's going on. Now, the assessment items we're going to add are subject-specific. They're not class-specific. You'll notice that we are in the subject explorer at the moment. Um, and what we can do is we can see the assessment items in the subject. Obviously, this is the class assessment items and classes, but what I really want to focus on is how to add a subject assessment item. First thing you do is just go down here and you click on a new assessment item. We'll make the first one TSK1 for task one, and we'll give it a marking scheme. You just click in here, we, we'll make this one a number up to eighty. You can choose one that's twenty, you can choose one that's a hundred, it doesn't matter. Choose the semester that you'll be putting this semester, this task in. And now in this case I'm going to be putting it in semester one. But here I want you to just put in a description of it. Obviously, you need it's going to be specific to your KLA, so I might make this one an essay. It's going to be 40% of our half yearly, and it's going to be 20% of our yearly grade. We don't need to worry about any long descriptions, and we don't have to worry about any calculations at this point. What is important? is that I can actually see what's going on here. Another thing that's handy for you to add is actually just to put in 80M to indicate that it's worth 80 marks. Once you've done that, move up to your save button and save. This will actually appear in your subject results over time so teachers can go and report it. Remember that this won't actually go onto the student's reports, it's just in on the records. Of course what we want to do then is we want to add a ranking. So we add another task by clicking on new assessment item. We'll call this one RNK1 for rank 1. And this is where you need to choose how many kids you've got in the course. So if you've only got 25 students in there you only need to choose a number of 20. I'll go for the number 200. This is a big course. Of course I'm going to give it semester 1 again and give it a description. Rank after task one. Now what I need to do for you, once this is in here, is I need to put a, form, a, calc a formula in here, and that'll be for me, but I'll come and sit down with you and do that. Let's just add another task. your research task. Again, it's out of 80. You could make it out of 100. You can make it 20. It doesn't matter. I'm going to make it 20% of the half yearly. And I'm going to make it 10% yearly. And that's done. After task 2, obviously the thing we want is a rank for task 2, but we also want to put in a cumulative rank. So I'll just click on the New assessment item, CUM2, because it's the cumulative result um, rank of task 1 and task 2. Remember I need to think about how many students are in this course, there are 200, so I add the 200, tag it semester, two, semester 1, and just type in here. Task two, and then what I need to do is, as the coordinator, then is to go in and add the calculation. If you can set these up, and in a way that we can actually read them with percentages and marks, that'll make it so much easier to add the calculations later.